Well, here we go again, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about credit cards, man. Should you get a credit card right now? Why you should get a credit card right now if you don't have one? We're going to be talking about that in the video. So sit back, relax, and learn some things today. So I'm going to give you guys five reasons, man. And I'm going to talk about a kind of weird reason that i talk about at the end of the video i'm gonna say the special reason for you guys at the end so make sure you watch the entire video and leave a like on this video as well and also subscribe if you have not already we on the road we're going we're trying to get to 100 subscribers here soon so without further ado let's get into the top five number five man the reason you should get a credit card and i and i got them all down in the phone the rewards the rewards great rewards now i only have one credit card right now i had it for about it's been about two years now or so and i'm finna get another credit card because of the rewards i uh, look i'm finna get another one and that's the reason i'm making this video as well because i'm finna get another one i'm gonna make a video about the card whenever i get that card but i have a quicksilver card and i wanted to test out like my whole strategy and other YouTuber strategies before I even, you know what I'm saying, decided to get another card. But I got a Quicksilver card, and with that card, you get a $250 bonus reward for free, basically, if you spend $500 in the first three months. And the way that you do that is by just spending money how you normally would spend it. My Look, my rent is $500 a month. Easy, easy. It's easy to spend five hundred dollars in three months. Get a free, get free two hundred fifty dollars. You can take that two hundred and fifty dollars, go invest it, flip that two hundred fifty. You can make even more money. You can trade stocks. You can trade options. I'm trying to learn. I'm learning more about trading options. Not there yet at all. Is a lot more knowledge you have to know. Trading stocks is easy. Trading trading options. It's like it's a completely different ball game. I can't even get words out. It's a completely different ball game in terms of trading options. But we're not going to talk about that right now. We're just going to talk about the rewards. You get free money for basically spending money how you would anyway. Pay the card off at the end of the month, each month, and then boom, free money for you. Let's talk about number four. Number four on the list is the assurance. Now, I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me. So you won't be like, he, this guy is just on here talking my stuff. He don't even know. I'm going to tell you a true story that happened to me. Okay. All right. I, I my bank, I'm not going to say name of bank. They, they did a good job in the end, but it took time. I went to another bank ATM because when I moved and the bank that I normally go to isn't in the state. So I needed some money. I went to ATM. No money came out of the ATM, right? So then backtrack, I call. I say backtrack for a track. I call them, tell them what happened. They're like, boom, okay, we'll get you money, blah, blah, blah. All right. So I wait a couple of days and it took them about a week to get the money in. But that was still money that was out of my account. I needed to pay my rent. And if I did not have even more money, I wouldn't have been able to pay my rent. Money would have been gone. It took them a long time to get my money back. However, with a credit card, you don't have to worry about your money being lost for a while okay because the money is on credit you have not taken that money out of your bank account yet so if you call the credit company up and say look hey i got a problem this this, this transaction i it didn't go through i don't know what's going on they're gonna be uh, like they're gonna be like okay bet boom they're gonna take it off no harm no foul that's why credit cards are so great because it's credit and then you at the end of the month you pay it all off. So if something happens on the way there, you have not paid all that money off yet. You can make sure that all the transactions on there are yours. None of your money that you have actually earned is coming out of that until you say so. Until you pull the trigger. So it's up to you to pull the trigger though. So assurance, man. Assurance and knowing that you won't have to go through a situation like that, like I had to go through. Good thing, like the bank, the banks usually come through. I'm not saying banks won't get your money back. They usually come through most of the time from what I've seen. Sometimes they may not, but you won't even have to worry about that with a credit card. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason for number four. Number three, let's talk about number three on the list. Number three is to start a line of credit. When I got out of school, I did have one line of credit, but you know what that was? 
my student loans. Student loans was the only line of credit that I had. Look, you need a little bit more than just your student loans on your credit if you plan on buying a house, getting a car loan, even though I don't recommend getting a car loan if you can help it. But you, you may need to get a car loan. Car loans aren't the end of the world. You just have to do them the correct way, which a video on that will come too. But, but needless to say, it's hard to get things on credit when you want, when you ain't got no credit. So you need to build your credit, get your lines of credit up, start paying off these debts. So you can go out and get that house later on, go out and get these different things later on. Cause when I got out of school, I thought, okay, I got a job, you know, paying off my student loans and I need, I need this line of credit. I was finna go get a car, which this actually was a good thing. In the end, I, I went to go get this credit and it was like, bro, you, you ain't, your credit line ain't long enough. You need to bring us your bill history. You need to bring us your water bill history. We need you to put down some collateral. We need you to, and so I'm like, I gotta do all that. And they were like, yeah, cause your credit history just ain't long enough. All you got is student loans on this. And then I was just like, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Got the credit card. Boom. I started one line of credit. So my credit history is going to be even longer other than just the student loans. People look at student loans like, oh, that's just stuff he had to get anyway. But this is something I chose to put on my credit report right here. I put this credit card on here. I'm paying it off every month. They see that. They see that you're good with it. Boom. Starting that line of credit is very, very important, man. That's number three. Number two on the list is free credit score information. Now, you can use Credit Karma easy, but, but, but a lot of the credit cards that you get have a free way that you can look at your credit card information and it's good to have all of your scores multiple scores from different you know websites and stuff like that some people say credit karma is inaccurate i have been somewhere in the middle i haven't seen it be inaccurate sometimes it'll different from the one on my credit card sometimes it won't it's just it's weird like some days it will some days it won't i guess it just has sometimes it has a delay sometimes it doesn't or sometimes my app will have a delay but you will have even more ways to know your credit line know your history before you go in there and try to get some credit you already know what your credit score is and then you won't have the banks pulling or the credit unions pulling your credit and lowering your numbers for nothing because you didn't know what your credit you know which everybody needs to know that everybody needs to know what this credit score is so that's also one of the things that are great with those credit cards. So number one, number one, before we get into the secret is to build credit. Credit cards are one of the best ways to build your credit. If you use it right, my credit score has gone from, I want to say 675 all the way is now 720, I believe is 720 and it's still going up. Each and every week is going up, it's going up, it's going up, going up. I did pull, I had a hard pull on my credit, which my credit score at a high, I think it had got it to 740. I had a hard pull on my credit, it went down to like seven flat. And then now I'm back up to 720 in a matter of like two, three months. Done. Easy. So make sure you, look, getting a credit card, it helps more than it hurts. And I'm going to give you guys something that you could do to boost your credit right now. You need to go out and get a credit card. Whatever credit card fits under your credit score or, you know, if you don't know your credit score, go play the safer. I get one of those discover it credit cards with lower requirements to get in on the secure credit cards. Discover it has been a good one if you want to know a good one. But the stimulus package is about to come out right now. I'm giving you guys a secret to what you can do. And I'm thinking about doing the same thing. I love my quick silver card, but I think I'm going to get another card and do this exact thing that I'm about to say. The stimulus package is about to come out soon, right? What you need to be doing is getting your credit card, take the stimulus package money. I don't know how they're going to do it. I read one article saying that some, they're thinking about doing $2,000. Then I see another one that said they're thinking about doing $250 a week. I mean, $250 a month or something weird. So much irregularity going on. I don't know what's going on. But with that being said, once we find out what's going on, get your credit card. Take the stimulus money, buy what you was going to buy with the stimulus money, with your credit card, pay it off with the stimulus money. You probably should invest that stimulus money 
or put into a savings account and just keep it if you're you know if you're still working and stuff because a lot of people have gone back to work but it's still some places people are still not back at work so if you're not back at work what you should do whatever you need the stimulus money for use a credit card to spend it spend as much of like however much we they decide to give out if it's 250 if it's 2000 don't go out and splurge 2000 now i'm not telling you to do that i'm saying use it for what you need and use the stimulus money to pay the card off then you can get the rewards right you can get the rewards from that credit card to get even more money get you another credit card if you have some left spin it again use the stimulus money to get even more money. <laughs> This idea, this idea just like dawned on me out of nowhere. How you gonna use your stimulus money? I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna break down and make a separate video and repeat this again once we get close to knowing what the stimulus money is. But that idea I had is fantastic. I think I did a good thing. If 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 um if y'all don't like that idea, let me know down in the comment section below. I don't have a lot of subs right now, so I'm gonna have to make another video on that. That is a fantastic idea. We're gonna make some money this year, people. We're gonna make some money. But anyways, man, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Now, let me not blow my headphones off. Look, if you don't remember nothing I said, nothing in this video, if you don't remember anything, you're saying, Dave, I, will, I already know all that. I already, I knew all that already. If you don't remember anything else, remember this. You gotta invest in yourself before. You invest in anything else, man. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one.